So dolphins are pretty smart. They have very large brains and probably are just as self-aware, aka sapient, as humans are. They engage in highly complex social and physical behaviours, mostly in the form of games which can then be extrapolated to hunting techniques, wherein a lot of communication is required, uh, advanced spatial reasoning and manipulation of the environment, all those kinds of things. Dolphins have been shown to be creative, actually understanding the concepts of novelty and innovation, and actively choosing to engage in them if they are rewarded. I mean, there are dolphin communities who do use basic tools for hunting, even though they really kind of lack the appendages for actually efficiently using tools. But the communication part is really the big thing that makes us believe that dolphins probably are pretty damn intelligent. Scientists have been for decades trying to figure out how dolphins communicate, and it turns out that not only do they have a language, but there's probably like different dialects of that language depending on species and area. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense that dolphins would use language to communicate with each other considering they live in the ocean and there's water in the ocean and water carries sound way better than air does. And, you know, humans use language, so <laughs> using it in a medium that is better suited for it kind of does make sense. Dolphins also just rely on sound as their primary sense anyway. They have huge developed hearing centers in the brain. They have very refined hearing organs and they use echolocation anyway. So even their ability to articulate is extremely highly developed. If we look at dolphin whistles, it does appear as though they actually have unique names for individuals by which they call themselves and others. Also, if we analyze the complexity of dolphin sentences using information theory, it turns out they're pretty much just as complex as, like, the average human language. It is, however, very difficult to actually, even through technology, gain the ability to communicate with these creatures. At least if the benchmark that we're trying to hit is actually speaking their language. Because ultimately, relative to humans, dolphins are pretty damn alien organisms with very different physiology and a completely altered frame of reference for what the world around them is. With all the variety that human languages have, they will tend to develop certain parallels and adhere to certain kinds of structuring. We are, at the end of the day, still the same biological creatures. No matter where we are in the world, we all evolved from the same monkeys somewhere in Africa. And we have the same physiology and we have brains that function in a similar way. But when you have dolphins, any sort of frame of reference that you might have kind of falls away. Not only do they live in the ocean, which is like the one environment that very few human civilizations have ever managed to conquer to any reasonable degree, research in the ocean is also very expensive, and it's pretty difficult to keep dolphins interested in partaking in the scientific experiments for long periods of time. We don't even know if they possess the ability to understand that what we are trying to do is understand their language, even though it is reasonable to assume that dolphins have a theory of mind based on behavior that they exhibit, meaning that they know that other entities have a mind separate from their own. That being said, basic communication with dolphins has happened. You have researchers that were able to go and play dolphin games that require dolphin communications, and they were even able to teach the dolphins words that they could emulate, and the dolphins would then begin to use those words in play so long as humans were involved. That's pretty impressive. It's also very difficult to visualize dolphin language in like a, a written form, which is a very great way of communicating language to other people at a glance because we humans are very visual creatures. But because we don't even know the basics of how that language might be structured, we don't really have a frame of reference by which we could develop a system of writing which makes sense for dolphin language. The fact of the matter is that dolphins may well be just as clever as humans, communication and all, but be severely limited by their physiology and environment. We humans, in terms of intelligence, stand on the shoulders of giants. It is, of course, reasonable to assume that, considering their intelligence, Dolphins will pass some amount of knowledge on from generation to generation. But they simply lack the permanence, storage, and frankly, the appendages to actually seriously go into technological development. 
Even if they understood fire, like one of the most basic technologies from when pretty much all the other technologies sprang, they live underwater. It's pretty difficult to get a fire going down there. If you don't have fire, you don't get cooking, which frees up more time for intellectual development. You don't get to be able to work with ores and smelt down minerals to create new materials that you can use in more advanced tools, which will save you more time. It appears that fire is a pretty, like, critical thing in the development of a civilization. And there are a number of steps on the civilizational ladder that, because of their environment, Dolphins really just cannot take. That's where humans have a huge leg up. A leg up, more like two legs up, and also arms, and the opposable thumbs, and the other fingers. I mean, you may be, like, pretty damn educated, but imagine having to figure out pretty much everything there is to learn in the world on your own. From tying your shoes to quantum physics. But considering we do have all of these research efforts that really try to just decipher the language of dolphins so we can communicate with what is essentially an alien species that lives on our very world. My question is, do, do we really want that though? Do you really want to talk to a dolphin? And I don't mean from like a standpoint of intellectual curiosity, because obviously I get wanting to talk to dolphins for that reason. What I mean is, do I, an individual, really want to have a conversation with a dolphin. Because I don't know if you know this, but dolphins are fucking assholes. You see this smile? This is the smile of a sociopath. Dolphins are rapists. Everyone has heard about dolphins raping human swimmers from time to time, but did you also know that they rape their own females in like an organized gang rape fashion pretty regularly. As a matter of fact, there is some speculation and some small amount of data that suggests that most of dolphin procreation happens because a boy dolphin raped a girl dolphin. But that's not even the worst of it. You know how we as a civilization look down on humans that just go out into the wilderness to hunt, not to actually eat their catch, but to just kill it and then leave it because they enjoy the act of murdering a creature? You know, they'll just go down to the pond and shoot a duck, and then they will go to the forest lodge to have an actual duck that wasn't shot, because the duck that was shot, you can't eat it. It's full of shotgun pellets. Dolphins do this also, but they're way worse about it. They hunt for sport all of the time. It is one of their absolute favorite pastimes. They just, you know, they hunt down the fish, and then they kill it, and then they leave it because they weren't planning on eating it. I'm sorry, did I say fish? What I meant was literally anything that swims, including their own babies. Yes, dolphins hunt the children of dolphin-adjacent species and also sometimes their own children if they feel like having some fun. And this isn't the kind of efficient hunt where you have the prey, you go for the prey, you catch the prey, you kill the prey. This is like a long thing where they play with their prey. They will break off the chase in moments where they could have actually snatched it because they want to have some fun. They want to spend some good time. They want their prey to be nice and afraid and terrified and really give them a challenge, give them a good chase. Imagine if it was common practice for humans to get a bunch of kids, put them in a forest, and have them run around there while you with your buddies and your guns just walk around that forest also trying to kill those children. That is common practice with dolphins. You may have heard that dolphins guide swimmers who are lost at sea to the shore. This is not true. They will guide some swimmers who are lost to the shore, but a lot of others they will just fuck with and hunt to the death. You just hear about the ones that went ashore. This is survivor bias. That's the only ones who get to live the tale the tale. And even there, it's a very common hunting tactic for dolphins to get their prey to go to the shore, where it'll be more easy to catch it and to push it basically against a wall, because obviously you can't go out of the water. Humans can do this, but just who knows if that just isn't the dolphins not understanding that humans going to the shore won't actually make them more easy to catch. Also, some researchers have suggested, though there is very little evidence to corroborate this, 
The dolphins are liars. Apparently dolphins that live close to human communities where the humans consider them like a bit of a tourist attraction will, when they are around those communities and they think that the humans are watching, behave in like a nicer, happier way. And when they think nobody's watching, they will do all of their horrendous shit. But again, there is like no evidence for this really. I mean, it's possible. Dolphins do have very complex social lives. They may be able to understand that humans want them to be a little softer and then that'll get them like nice pats on the head or fish type things. But you know, it might just fit the narrative of dolphins being cunts. Make no mistake, dolphins are primitive creatures. They revel in all of the kind of shit that human civilization has made us be disgusted at. Well, most of us, for the most part. We will gain the ability to communicate them very probably. We will probably gain the ability to communicate complex ideas to them when we have sort of understood their psychology. And in the far future, we might even integrate them into human society. I don't want to sound, you know, speciesist. But I do kind of think we maybe should teach them like some morals and ethics before we do that. And I don't think they're going to take very kindly to that. I've yet to meet the intelligence that likes being told that their way of life is shit and they are primitive savages and they should learn from the much better entity that is somehow just different. We don't really understand their psychology, but presumably this is also true for dolphins. And I can't even begin to estimate how much of their savagery and brutality comes from like their culture or lack thereof, I suppose. But like having a savage culture is also having a culture, it's just a different culture. It's not really compatible with like modern advanced civilization. Or how much really is their nature? Because if they're just sociopaths by nature, we might run into problems. Thank you for watching this video that I've been wanting to make for quite some time. Please do, especially if you're like a marine researcher, leave your uh, horrible dolphin stories in the comments and all that. Like, comment, subscribe, share this to your relevant communities. Uh, maybe consider buying some of the beautiful merchandise that I have on sale, which no, I actually don't have it on sale, I just have it on offer. I think if it's on sale, then it has to, it's reduced, but it's not. Maybe consider supporting me on Patreon or Subscribestar. And in that spirit, I appreciate all of you don't swim with dolphins if you don't know what you're doing. Like, be careful about them because they might get ideas. And see you around, cunts.